But now he's repeating himself. <laughs> no, I'm not repeating. No, no, no. Oh my god! No! Run! Run! Shane motherfucking Dawson putting out another absolutely imbecilic video called the Mandela effect all right let's see what let's see what he's got to say hey what's up you guys yes today we're gonna be doing another video on conspiracy theories but today's gonna be a little bit different because we're only gonna talk about he looks one like theory, a fucking that... alien you ever notice that he, he, like, like maybe it's the lighting but he looks like a fucking alien maybe right that's now. a conspiracy he's a he's a <laughs> faggot alien <laughs> oh <laughs> do, 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 See what he's got to say about the Mandela effect. Men Alright, just to let you guys know he's probably gonna explain it in the video, so we'll we'll let Shane in his own words describe what the Mandela effect actually is. That's the Mandela effect. So I've done a video on this before, maybe a year or two ago, but since then there's been so much more evidence and more proof. There's been more evidence. 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 Now what what I hate about the Mandela effect though is like uh when, when people say that there's evidence, it's just a bunch of people that remember things wrong it's like oh wow there's hella people in the world and a couple of them remembered something wrong so Let, let's effect. hear what do you think is going to lay out as his evidence what, what, what do you think it's probably gonna be? probably just that like a uh, shitload of people remembered something wrong let's find out well talking about it it's just become so much bigger of a theory so today we're going to go through the whole thing so for those of you who don't know the mandela effect is basically when a lot of people have a memory of something but out. then when you look back it never actually happened so for example a lot of people remember september 11th actually taking place on september 10th but of course so they all just got it fucking what wrong the, like, who, who the fuck remembers yeah. september 11th happening on september 10th what the fuck are you talking hey, about dude, you remember Austin? you remember 9 11 already strike yeah. one with this fucking yeah. idiot you remember you guys remember 9/11 that thing that happened on 9/10 like what the fuck I actually I I've, actually remember it happening on 9/9 nine, nine. I've never met anybody 9/9 nine, nine. <laughs> I've never met anybody who thought 9/11 happened on the 10th like it's like literally right there in the fucking no, name but, it says 9/11 But basically the Mandela effect the whole idea behind it is that you know you know it, people it, just remember shit it's wrong. a different warp in reality okay l l let's see another maybe has a, a a slightly better example than fucking 910 that everyone talks about. Of course, about. as we all know, it wasn't. So that would be a Mandela effect. And one of the theories for this happening is that some people think that we have actually switched into a different parallel universe. Or Rather some people think that maybe somebody traveled back in time and changed something small, and then that thing... <laughs> like hey, I guys, said, guys, I'm gonna go back in time, and you know that thing that happened on 9-11? I'm gonna make it happen on 9-10. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna. That's how I'm gonna change like, the fucking like world. Like what? What I think the Mandela effect started as is like, well, uh, okay, obviously having with uh, Nelson Mandela, people thought that he died in the '80s. When it turns out he died, what was it, like 2014, something like that. Yeah, 2014. Um, so like, turns out like probably it was probably just somebody in class like they were talking about and like, I thought he died in the '80s, and they're like, no, you fucking idiot, and they're like. Oh my god, guys, it's just a warp, like, in the fucking reality. Hey, yeah, yeah. What, what do you <laughs> like, think is more likely? He he did not die in the 80s, or a fucking, or, what do you think is more likely? time travel. Well, listen, listen, listen. You either had it mistaken that he died in the 80s, or it's a fucking time warp. Yeah. The, yeah. the whole fabric of our, of our reality has been slightly Whoa, changed. Oh, yeah. Gee, I don't know. I don't know which one it is. Oh. It's it's kind of hard to weigh, yeah. out, weigh out the different the odds of the two. No clue, bro. No clue. I look. Come on. What are the odds of of people on the internet being mistaken versus a fucking time warp? According to Shane motherfucking Dawson. Like affected a lot of other things. Kind of like the movie The Butterfly Effect. When Ashton Kutcher went back in time, he like picked up a pencil and dropped it or something. And then when he went back to the future, a bunch of little things were different. And this Where does that idea come from? That's what I want to know. 
Oh, that like little things lead like, to like things. Like like you do you do one little thing and then and then it has like a chain reaction. Like I I never understood that. Well, I I mean, ha- have you ever been like barely like late or barely on time to something? You know, like you show up like right when it's happening. You know, like maybe like to class or something. You know. But if you did, like, one little thing, you would have been totally late, which might have, like, oh, say, like, the teacher's like, oh, that's your last fucking tardy. And then you get sent to the office or something. I, I, and then you I get can... sent to the office, you get detention, and it's over. Is no, I, I can actually see, like, how the butterfly effect can, like, because I really do believe that, you know, like, little stuff, like, you know, it's, a, it's cause and effect. That's just how time works. It's like you do something... And then something happens after it. You know? I, I don't see how a fly can affect. Like you go to prehistoric times, you kill a fly. It's gonna affect. Okay, fuck okay. all. If if of anything, mm-hmm. I don't. I don't see how that works. But I wouldn't necessarily say that. But I mean, in your in your life, at least, you know, like like little things you do lead to other things. I mean, like like I said, that's just how time works. It's the cause and effect. Ah, sure, whatever. But Fine. I mean, it's not the same as the Mandela effect. Yeah, he's, he's trying to make a connection where there I don't is know. I, I don't. I don't see the connection between like someone like. Is he trying to insinuate that pe- people have traveled back in time and that's why we're seeing the the Mandela effect? Yeah. I mean, it, okay. Here, wait, wait. One, one more thing, guys. Think about it. Think about it like this for a second. If, if someone went back in time and changed everything, you wouldn't remember it. As the way it was before they changed That's it, because they went back in time <laughs> yeah. and fucking changed it, right? So how would you even remember the alternate reality? Because it's been changed, it's been warped, <laughs> it's completely different. You wouldn't notice, <laughs> fucking idiot. What, what what are you talking but about? But Quinn, but Quinn, it's it's more complex than that. You just don't understand. It's more complex. You don't than understand. That. This yeah. asshole has a fucking video to make to <laughs> to to send to his thirteen year old followers no, who are who are simpletons. Yeah, no, I I actually you don't think have that any... Shane, Shane Dawson's actually a uh, product of the Mandela effect. You know, Onision just you know became slightly less annoying and a little bit more gay and just Shane, <laughs> Shane Dawson fucking a little, up <laughs> a little bit more. You know, <laughs> yeah, woo. A dose, a dose of faggot. Here we go. This makes a lot of sense to me, because think about it. Time traveling is going to be a thing. Like, it might be a thousand years in the future, but it will. Uh, How do you know we're going to make it a thousand years in the future? We, we got inbred idiots like you that are going to fucking destroy the world. Yeah, Have you ever seen the movie tra- Idiocracy? Like, yeah. you're the product of it. You're... You're the first generation of idiocracy. Yeah, who said? Who even thinks that time travel is an inevitability? Inevitability. It's like, no, we don't even know how it works theoretically yet. Let alone like how you can, you know, pragmatically make it. It's happen. an inevitability because I think it will be an inevitability in my infinite, infinitely intelligent brain of Sh- of Shane Dawson. So I mean, right off the back, like. Right off the bat, you know the the premise of the argument is already fucked up. It's, yeah, it's and, like, and then and then and then also he's assuming we're even gonna make it a thousand years in the future yeah, without I mean, destroying ourselves. People think we're going through the next great extinction right now with fucking climate change and us running out of natural resources and, and, and nukes. Shit. We and might nukes. nuke ourselves because yeah. we're we're st- a stupid species and we're like press the red button. Yeah, you know that uh, mutually assured destruction is bound to happen. I think, but. Who knows? Maybe maybe people like Shane Dawson will save the world. Happen, which means that people have been traveling back and forth through time. They have to have been. And if you want to get me on an even bigger... Cons- oh have- my fucking God. Look at this video he's showing. I saw this video like fucking 10 years ago. <laughs> 10 years ago I saw this fucking video. And it's... Alright, just watch. Conspiracy theory. I think that UFOs are actually just time machines. Because they all... What? What? <laughs> what? You're That's thinking... not even a real video. <laughs> what are you talking about, you stupid idiot? No, okay. Well, he's not necessarily necessarily saying that. Oh, this. Video no, but is he could. He could. He could have got a way better video, dude. That's totally obviously CGI. Mm-hmm. But Look I, at I it. don't know. It's like what I've seen so far is I believe this. I believe this. I believe this. Like, okay. So before we even get into the meat of the argument, he has several false uh, premises. Like, I believe that. Uh, you know, uh, what, what, uh, UFOs are actually time traveling machines or whatever the fuck he said. He says, I also believe time travel is an inevitability. So of course you have to think that in order to believe that the Mandela fix, like a, like a fucking result of time. I travel. mean, I guess, unless there's some okay, other but explanation it, for it, but, uh, but some if, other if, esoteric explanation for it. Who knows? But if, if time travel doesn't exist, then how can, or if time travel is not an inevitability, then how can someone travel back in time to change shit in the first place? So, I mean, like, it, this is a classic case of circular logic, you know? 
Like, yeah, yeah. I, I think, therefore, I am kind yeah. of thing. Uh, yeah, of course. Why, why would you expect nothing less than sh- uh, from a person Shane like Shane Dawson? Shane Dawson. An imbecilic fucking retard. No offense to retards out there. I'm sure, <laughs> I, I'm sure you're not as dumb as this asshole. Yeah. Very similar, but they all kind of look a little bit different. Like maybe one was built in this year, one was built a thousand years later. And I don't think those are aliens. I think those are just time travel. You're just a gullible retard who falls for fake CGI videos. Yeah. <laughs> like I was when I was 10 years old. Yeah. All right. Okay. But that's a whole nother video. So the reason it's called the Mandela Effect is because a lot of people remember Nelson Mandela dying in prison. But then on December 5th of 2013, Nelson Mandela died. And it confused a lot of people because they're like, I thought he already died. Um, no. There, there were songs made about Nelson, Man- about free Mel- Nelson Mandela back in like the early 2000s. There were songs about him. So, yeah. no, you're full of shit. I, I don't even really know that many people who were like, oh, I thought he died. Like, I think I might have met one person, like, in my fucking World Civ class sophomore year that thought but no, no, he no. died. But they were a fucking retard. Like, they, I don't think they even graduated. Like, they probably dropped out, like, that that year, sophomore year. Yeah, well, that's an anecdotal evidence, so it doesn't yeah, mean yeah. anything. The Mandela effect is totally real. It's obviously uh, more likely that uh, a thousand people on the internet are, are 100% right. Yeah. Compared to a fucking time warp. Yeah. From UF now UFOs are in the mix, I, I guess. I Years ago. And a lot of people thought. I don't know. Why, why don't they, like, stop the... What? I was, I was enjoying your tune. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't give a shit. But here's the thing. Uh, why don't these UFO assholes like actually stop like the Holocaust? Why aren't we having a Mandela effect about the Holocaust? Like, <laughs> hey, oh yeah, I don't, I don't remember uh, millions of Jews getting killed because the UFOs came back and saved them. The UFOs yeah, are Holocaust fucking out. No, no, happened. they, they want to keep Nelson Mandela alive for a couple more yeah. years. <laughs> yeah, oh, good job. That, which is why it's called the Mandela effect. Well, now this is where it gets creepy. Well, so there's a book called English Alive, and it was published on October 1st of 1991. And inside of that book is a quote that says, Nelson Mandela died on the 23rd of July in 1991. And that's in a that's book that was published. What, what? So, wait, Some wait, obscure wait. fucking did, did book. Did he give the name of the book? No. Did he even get the name of, of the book? Might have been a newspaper. I don't even he could have just pulled it out of his homoerotic <laughs> asshole. <laughs> like, okay, what, what book is it? And second of all, it could be like a fictional book. It could be, yeah. I mean, I don't know. We obviously didn't research like every single claim you made. We're watching this video fresh. Yeah. But, um, so his evidence is like a quote from like some obscure book that he doesn't even name. Mm-hmm. I mean, okay, let's see what else he's got. Years ago. And you can't put things like that in a book if they're fake or else you'll get sued. Which means that this uh, is a piece of evidence no, you that you can he- say whatever the fuck you want as long as you're fuck. <laughs> Like, okay, if, if you're wrong, you're wrong. Like, yeah. I okay, mean, wait, wait. If you can say this kind of stuff without getting sued, then what the fuck is the National Enquirer? It says shit like, uh, Bill Clinton has AIDS. Here's proof why. Yeah, they, he, he might have AIDs. Okay, but honest. okay, like, but still, they make really, like... They, 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 say really, cla- they say crazier claims, like Obama is a reptilian and yeah, shit. Yeah, they, like, literally say this shit, and they don't get sued. Not to my knowledge, at least, but no. they still well, crank I, they, out... They probably do get sued a lot. Those but kind of magazines get sued, but... Okay, but they still, like, crank out material, you know, like, bi-weekly or monthly or whatever the fuck it is. But also... There's a whole genre out there called fiction, right? Mm-hmm. So you you could write whatever the fuck you want under under the guides of fiction, mm-hmm. right? So he's talking out of his ass. He actually yeah. did die a long time ago, just in an alternate universe. Oof, fucking creeps me out. So now I'm going to go through some of the most popular examples of the Mandela effect. Right, Once again, we've talked about some of these before. So number one, the Berenstein Bears. So everybody remembers the Berenstein Bears being spelled E-I-N. I mean, I grew up on these books and these cartoons, and I remember very specifically, it was Berenstain Bears. Then I find out, nope, it's been Berenstain Bears the whole time. Every book cover- Oh, mind blown. Actually, like, okay, I saw a video, Mind blown. I saw a picture on Twitter where it showed a different spelling, and it was like, oh, proof the Mandela fix real, like- I'm pretty sure that they, like, there was just misprints or whatever, that they just changed the name or whatever. Like, honestly, it's just- it's literally a fucking cartoon. That's a kid's book. When's the last time you ever gave a, a lasting fuck about mm-hmm. how the Bernstein or Steen Bears was mm-hmm. spelled? I mean, when you were a little kid, you didn't even pay attention to that. Now you're paying attention to it again because a bunch of idiots on the internet 
Say, oh, I remember it was spelled this way. No, but it was spelled that way with an A. That's like people now saying, like, I remember Metallica had a... The, this guy, Cliff, is their bass player. Who the fuck is this Robert guy? I don't remember him. Oh, yeah. Mandela Effect exposed. Yeah, Mandela. <laughs> All right. People have found every clip from the show that people have found have all said Berenstein Bears. So everybody remembers it as Berenstein. Just to give you proof, I'm going to call my mom right now. She does not know I'm calling her. And I think you guys should do the same thing. Go ask your parents if it's Berenstein or Berenstein, and I guarantee you they're going to say Berenstein. I guarantee you they're not going to remember because they have a lot of other shit on their mind besides like what obscure child's book you read fucking 20 years ago. Yeah, joke's on you. My mom left me 10 years ago. <laughs> Mandela effect. Bam. Took a shot. Wait, 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 wait. Did, did my mom leave to go get cigarettes 10 years ago or did she go leave to get the paper 10 years ago? No, she, Mandela she, effect. No, no, she left to get you that Baron Stein book, but when she saw it was spelled the wrong way, she couldn't handle coming back to you with that. So she just had to fucking <laughs> book it and go on the road. She couldn't take the pressure. She's like, I thought it was stain, but it's stain. I miss my mom, dude. I'm sorry. I miss my mom. I I'm sure when she sees this Shane Dawson video, she she'll she'll be like she'll feel a lot better about her decision because. She's part of the Time Warp Conspiracy! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Hey, honey, I almost missed you. I just got to the gym. Oh, um, I'm doing a conspiracy theory video right now, and I have a question. Okay. Okay, so do you remember a book series when I was a kid, and it was like a family of bears? Like, there was a mom and a dad? Oh, yeah, the Berenstein, the Berenstein Bears. The Berenstein uh, Bears? Yeah, the bear, Berenstein or the Bears, Bears. So it for sure wasn't the Berenstain Bears, right? I remember the, Ber the Berenstain Bears. Exactly. Well, actually, Dude, it was the Berenstain Bears, Bears the whole time. But for some reason, we all thought it was the Berenstain Bears. How strange. Yeah, so technically, How people strange. think that we're in an this alternate universe where for some reason... Oh, uh, yeah, Shane. <laughs> Shane. That's, a, that's a great uh, spot to pause the video. Screen cap. Alright, so, um... Okay, so... You know, you don't pronounce words like the same way you spell them, right? And like the Berenstein Stein Bears had a a show, right? So their name was pronounced correctly in the show. So you remember how their name was pronounced in the fucking cartoon, right? Yeah. It's pronounced Berenstein, but it's spelled Stein if you were to spell it like in English. But, um, um, dude, I just think they were like misprints of the fucking book. That's it. Like, I mean, no, I, I just think people are misremembering, honestly. That's true. Is, is that not outside the realm of possibility? No. Yeah. Well, let, let's see what else he has. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, have fun at the gym. Well, there you guys go. My mom. Fuck you, mom. I, I bet you when they're scripting it, his mom was like, hey, hey, uh, 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 I'm gonna say I'm gonna be at the gym. <laughs> yeah. Just so they can know, like I, I work I, I'm, out. I'm a fit mom. <laughs> I, I'm one of those moms that goes to the gym. I'm I'm just not a lazy fuck. What, dude? What if his mom was like, "Hey, I'm going to the store to get some cigarettes," like my mom. No, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> Sorry. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so everybody's been freaking the fuck out over this because we all remember it being Berenstein. Well, a picture came out recently. We all remember it being Berenstein. Berenstein. Mm, uh, yeah. To... Okay, but you don't. Okay, first of all, you don't pronounce like stuff all always the way you it spells, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And second of all, you can misremember stuff that happens all the fucking time. Honestly, like if this is a product of time this travel, so why stupid. is it only a fucking children's book? Like this is what are they doing? They're this is really, doing the most really meaningless. lame. Yeah. Dude, these time travelers are doing the most meaningless, yeah. mundane <laughs> changes they could possibly do. I mean, you know, what, I would I would have the prevented fuck? the fucking housing crash in two thousand eight. No, no, they yeah. didn't. They didn't prevent the housing crash. They didn't prevent nine eleven. They they changed it by one day. Oh yeah. But yeah, so yeah. I, I guess that's something. Good good fucking job, idiots. But nine, they, they didn't nine, change the nine, Holocaust. Ten. They made it nine ten instead of instead of actually like preventing three thousand people from getting killed. But whatever. Fine, fine. We'll we'll take your shit and eat it with a smile on our face. And it's gonna freak you the fuck out. So one Reddit user looked in their garage and they found a really The fact the thing that freaks me the fuck out is that thousands of people will actually fall for this stupid bullshit. Yeah. Do I keep playing? 
the old tape of the Berenstain Bears. They posted this picture, and on the front of the tape, you can see it says the Berenstain Bears. But then on the side of the same tape, oh, it said the Oh, I Bears. Fucking crazy. <laughs> now, this picture has been put through a bunch of tests. People have uh, investigated it to make sure it's not Photoshopped, oh to make God, sure it's I'm real. Kill it's myself. a fucking, fucking mystery. Which means I'm that gonna it, kill myself. People yeah. actually, like, photo analyze the fucking... A, a VHS tape of a misprint? Yeah. Are you kidding me? I don't want to live on this planet anymore. I'm not gonna. I really I'm just, gonna. uh, okay. I, I, I 100% feel you, brother. I don't want to do, I don't want to live on it. I'm going to have to borrow have that to, off you next. You're going to have to do a show by yourself, faggot. I mean, no, I'm, I'm, I'm joining you. All right. I'm joining you after. Hey, just keep playing the video. Just keep okay. Playing, just keep playing the video. It's another piece of proof. No, no, dude, it's keep... connected. You're going to fuck it up. No, no, no. It's this thing. It's a different case. Okay, okay. Keep playing. That the Mandela effect is real. Now, another very popular Mandela effect is sex in the city. So everybody that I know remembers the show being called Sex in the City. And then you realize, no, no, fuck. it's been sex and God, the city. Damn it. The whole... Hey. <laughs> Sorry. I got some bleach. You can. You can <laughs> oh, some, yeah, yeah. I'm you, you can you can amanda talk it when we're done okay and then recently sex in the city out. so here's a clip from some award shows back in the day where they called it sex in the city check it out nominees for outstanding supporting actress in a yeah, comedy Trump series are kim cattrall sex in the city Kristen Davis, Sex in the city cynthia nixon sex in the city of course i know fucking crazy but that's Oh, he didn't just misspeak yeah, okay. or anything? Let, let's assume that this is true for one fucking second, okay? Yeah. Why? What, what are these fucking time travelers, like, doing? They're just so jerking these, these, off these to these sex in yeah. the city or sex in the city? Like, why aren't they doing anything, like, uh, actually important? <laughs> Creates time travel device and UFO. Changes, changes it name, from... It changes name of a fucking B-rate fucking comedy show. Comedy show. Yeah. No one gives a fuck. Yeah, no, honestly. Sex in the City, Sex and the City, whatever you want to call it, it's still a shitty show, but second of all, um, I mean, I don't know. It, and, Sex and the City, you change one word. And yeah. I don't, that's, that's couldn't awesome. that be like a, like a, they, they mispronounce it mm -hmm. at the award show or, because mm -hmm. like, I know a lot of people, you hear Sex and the City and you, yeah. and you, um, uh, sorry, I, my mind just went blank for a second. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you change one word w when you say it, like at an award show, or like mm -hmm. someone miss puts it on a on a thing, right? On, on like the note card that you read off for your award show. Not the only thing. Someone on YouTube who goes by the name of the whole world's watching posted this video. He has a fan package of Sex in the City that has like perfume and cups and stuff, and they all say Sex in the City. Check it out. All right, you want proof of the Mandela effect? Sex in the city. No question what it used to be. Hard fucking evidence. Now most of you are going to say, oh, he's a graphic designer. He made the fucking box. Plus the in, you know, it's a different color. But thank God my girl still has every fucking thing in here. That says it again, again, and again. Wow. Yes. Yeah, stamped his or his into the, the fuck? fucking plastic, carved into the glass. You fucking name it. No, I didn't go out here and make a fucking got, got Sex everything. in the City uh, soaps and all this shit. So there you go. It says I'm more Sex in the City. About this guy's unhealthy obsession yeah. with Sex in the City Honestly, than the fact that and, one word changed. And dude, like, misprints happen all the fucking time. Uh, the, the, obviously, those aren't mm. all misprints, but. Okay, let's assume they're right about this Mandela thing. And it is sex in the city. Sex in the city. Or yeah. sex and the city. It's, maybe sex, it's, it's sex in the city. So maybe they're mistaking and yeah, instead of yeah, in. It, like, like we, we assumed it was the other way around when, when I was trying to debunk it, but maybe it's, no, se it's, it's supposed to be sex in the city, but he's misremembering it as sex and the city. No, it's yeah, it's definitely most definitely sex in the city. Anything else? Look it up on your phone real quick. Look anything, up sex in the city. Yeah, anything. It's not a typo because that's what it was. It's what we all remember. And you know what the craziest part is? I went to this video and I went to other articles online of people talking about the sex in the city Mandela effect, and there's a very similar comment on all of them. 
This comment I found says, LOL, it's oh, always it's been sex in the city. The creators even talked oh, about it. Me. Lay off the ball. So here's the thing. Okay, it is sex and the city. I was wrong. It's so not sex. So sex. sex in the city right now. Could it be possible that they changed it? Yeah. I'm... Instead of sex in the city, like I said, they like, changed it to sex. I mean, it's such a dude, stupid the, thing. The, uh, the first, what was it? The first Aerosmith album. There's like uh, several hundred uh, misprints of like the fucking title. Like it, it just happens. Stuff like that just happens. Yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna just say, oh wow, the the fabrics of time have been changed just because one yeah. word changed on some stupid TV show that no one gives a I fuck just, about. I just, uh, we just remembered something wrong, you know. Yeah. Oh, dude, oh, dude. it sounds like a pretty normal, like angry YouTube comment, but that same exact comment was all over the internet. It was all like, lay off the bong, lay off the drugs. It's always been this. The creators have always said that. To me, kind of seems like whoever is in charge of this whole thing is like going around the internet trying to debunk it, which. Okay. Here's what I think. If there really were conspiracies, here's what you would do. You put out a conspiracy as ludicrous and as stupid and asinine as this one to distract people from real conspiracies that yeah. happen, right? Because wh why would they try to protect it as sex in the city versus sex and the city? <laughs> they must not know. <laughs> they must not know that yeah. one word changed and 9-11 actually happened on 9-10. Not, not that Bush did it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Creeps me the fuck out. Another very popular effect is from the movie Snow which White. One and that's when the evil movie. queen looks in the mirror and says, Mirror, mirror on the wall. Or did she? Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Yeah, she uh, said so it. I, I, I don't know about this one. Me I mean, I guess we could... We're going to skip ahead on this one because I, I don't even watch... I never watched any Disney movies when I was a kid, so I don't fucking know. So we'll just skip ahead. It was more of a cartoon. So he's going to talk about The Empire Strikes Back. Okay, no, but that's a famous one that people, the Luke, I am your father. Like, everybody always, like, he doesn't say Luke, he doesn't say, no. all right, wait, wait, let's go to, I don't, I, didn't, I never saw Forrest Gump either. I know, I live under a rock. What? But, um, okay, so, oh. let's watch the Luke. I don't remember anybody ever saying that. It's always been life is. Then probably the most famous one is we all remember in Star Wars him saying, Luke, I am your father. No. No, he didn't say that, actually. Mm -hmm. I never remembered him saying it like that. It no. was always a, like a dialogue. Yeah. He's like, no, I don't believe... Uh, here. We didn't That's know. I thought me you killed him. No. I am your father. Yeah, he never, he never even said Luke. No, yeah, because People... you misremembered it. I never misremembered it because I watched the Star Wars yeah, like same. fucking like a religious person when I was a kid. Yeah. Um, Pe people just... say people say Luke, I am your father, so that when you say Luke, they understand the reference. When you say I am your father, like when when you're talking, in that a that's how the rumor got misremembered yeah. by idiots like this. And yeah. by the way, he does look like he took too many hits off the bomb. This next one I just read about, which really fucking he'll probably roof me and try to fuck me in the ass. And freak me out is I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Shane. If if you if you ever want to do it to me, I'll, I'll gladly. I'll, I'll, I would for the be, for the I, pub, for the publicity. I would be I would be honored because I know I'm an ugly fuck, and you're such a goddess. You're an Adonis. Mm -hmm. So we have all remembered Febreze, you know that fabric spray that like makes things not smell like shit. I have always remembered it being spelled Febreze, F E B R E E Z E. Febreze. I literally remember going to the store and seeing it there and grabbing it like I. So, he just keeps repeating himself with some like stupid so, fucking so misremembering misprints. Alright, so we're gonna fast forward more in the video because he's just gonna keep giving out some more examples of like, oh, I remembered it being this way, but it's yeah. actually this way. Oh, I thought I had an extra E, but only had a w one E. Yeah. How, who pays attention to how many E's are in Febreze? Who pays attention to Febreze at all? Your mind just like automatically skips over like trivial shit like that. Because if it if it if it took in every bit tidbit like, of information, oh. you would go insane. You'd yeah. go bonkers, or maybe you, maybe you already have. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I, I or think, even worse, like Shane Dawson. Yeah, you end up like Shane Dawson if you take in every single tiny yeah. minute piece of information. Like look at look at this across. guy. He's absorbing information right now through his weird alien pupil eyes. I'm not What's not. up with his pupils? His pupils look fucking weird right Dude, now. Dude, it's know. like the opposite of what happens when you take shrooms. He took anti-shrooms. <laughs> I mean, doesn't ecstasy make your... Oh, whatever. I remember I it know. being spelled like that. Let's wash it with Febreze. Two more ways to breathe happy. Literally what? That is not how it's spelled. That is not how it's spelled. Literally, it has always had no two E's. Way. Literally... No one cares. Literally, you are a imbecilic moron. 
yeah. who misremembered something and is having his mind blown based on misremembering something. I misremember shit all the time. Like, I forgot why I fucking put my keys this morning. Dude, know? I forget where my keys are, like, every day. So, yeah. how am I going to remember how many E's are in front That one fucking <laughs> hurts my head, and this next one hurts my head even more. Oscar sure Meyer does. Wieners. Okay, we all. I think a hard. I think a hard math problem hurts this guy's head. I, I think. Well, in fairness, it hurts mine too. Yeah. Well. Suddenly. Yeah. I, I have no room to talk. I, I. I think like like trying to do mundane basic tasks hurts hurts this guy's head. Yeah. I remember Oscar Mayer. M E Y E R. I even yeah. remember the song. My Baloney has a first name. It's O S C A R. My has a second name. It's N E Y E R. Isn't that how you remember it? It's how I remember it. Looking at the name Meyer, you would think it would be M E Y E R. And every month, more and more of these things are coming out. More and more proof. More and more evidence. Because yes, maybe it is possible that we all switch to more and more people misremembering shit. That's basically what he means by proof more and more people on the internet fucking feeding each other's flames of misremembering tidbits of information that they shouldn't remember at all mm -hmm. because that's not how the human mind operates yeah so okay I'll, I'll shane i'll keep my eye out for 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 new mandela new breaks in the space-time continuum Universe. and a bunch of little things changed but i feel like if you switch constantly like if people keep going back and forth between time there's going to be little loopholes there's going to be little things that didn't change or little things that got missed and I I think uh, I think those little things should be assessed by a psychiatrist because you're probably going schizophrenic. Yeah, it sounds. like I mean, it. like these are cool and interesting theories, but I wouldn't even call them. It's theories. like something you think about when you're really stoned, and yeah. you just like you think you have a brilliant, outlandish idea, but really, it's just a really dumb and asinine piece of mm -hmm. information that just, just popped up. This is just head. another case of like that people are like free to believe whatever the fuck they want to like, believe they're like i'm gonna make up some random shit and say i just believe with no evidence and if i say i Guys, believe what if reality isn't really real I, it's just what i believe you know like like you, you know when you got that stupid friend who thinks he's like really profound and like really on something and yeah deep, he's like what if what if we're all in a computer generated program? It's like congrats, like I've heard that several congrats, times. Yeah, yeah can fucking congrats. You're not, you're not special Play Doh. You know, I feel like that's what's happening. Because I keep seeing more and more people find proof Wait a minute, why the fuck is he whispering? So let me know down in the comments, video. are there any men down? Dude, he's, he's whispering a, the whole fucking the video. The fucking New World Order will be on to him if they hear he, him talk too he's loud. Like, he's like Alright guys, I just need to tell you really fucking quick. Like, it, it's, it's really fucking annoying, and it's just like, and, and the stupid music in the background, too. Again, with the royalty-free fucking music that he just added on, he's like, oh, this is gonna build it's up. A common, common thing. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, and I, I hate the fact that all these stupid kids on the internet are like, they're just getting into, like, conspiracies, because make no mistake, there are real conspiracies out there, Golden yeah. Tonkin, there, there's tons yeah. Right, someone say 9 Bay, Bay, Bay of Pigs. We're not going to get into that, though. But, you know, okay, so you got all these. They're first getting into it, and now they're getting into the most stupid and retarded, asinine ones that there possibly are out there. And then they they get into the Mandela effect, and then after a while, they have a sobering thought that, oh, maybe this is bullshit. I'm, I'm coming back to reality now. Yeah, yeah. And now, <laughs> now they're completely done with conspiracies. So. If I were the people in charge of conspiracies, I wouldn't go around the internet making comments like, lay off the bong, dude. You're fucking stupid to try to sway people from finding out that Berenstein actually was Berenstein. You know, I, I would make that conspiracy to distract people from the real ones. Yeah. Because no, no, no one, like, no government is exposed by the Mandela effect. No, no new breaking concept is exposed, even if it was true. Mm -hmm. Because the things that are changed are so insignificant and stupid that you know th there's no consequence so if i were the conspiracy people i would put the mandela effect out there to distract people from real ones maybe that's what they did who knows <sighs> mind blown the effects that i didn't talk about that you guys know of are there things that you remember that didn't actually happen did you always think it was berenstein bears did you misremember something my mom because that never happens my mom leaving 
very, very curious what you guys have to say on this. And I'm just his excited. His mom didn't to... actually leave. He's just fucking jerking you guys off. No, my mom left. No, he's full of shit. Don't, don't fucking fall for my it. My mom left, and I got he's raised just trying by to, my... He's trying to make a sob story. I got raised by wolves. All right, well. My dad left, too. I actually, I actually remember uh, being raised by a, um, a fucking horses, but... Were they horses or were they Harris's? Oh! I don't know. I don't know. Fuck, I, I need to reassess. My, Whoa! I need to reassess, reassess what reality actually is. Maybe I'm part of the Mandela effect. Next, because I feel like slowly but surely it's starting to unravel. And we're going to see the truth. And I'm really excited to see what that is. We're going to see the truth through a sea of bullshit <laughs> propagated by rumors and just festering garbage on the internet. <laughs> Fantastic. That's how we're gonna see the truth. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, you know, the fucking the illegal wars that we've been in, all the corruption and government. No, no, no. Don't don't focus on that. Focus on the fact Febreze. that Febreze only has one E instead of two. Oscar Meyer Wheels. Oh my god. We are on we are on to them. Bernstein Bears. We are on to the E's, we are on to the E I's, we are on to, to the, the AIs. To the, to the AIs. Everything. We're on to it. The Mandela's Mandela. You know all that shit, not 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 like. In fact, I don't even remember it being Nelson Mandela. I remember it being Nelson Mandela. Oh my god, we need we need to we need Ma to email Nelson. Shane Dawson about this. All right, so that you know the the real con the conspiracies of like you know pl pay to play politics, the Clinton Foundation, all this shit. My mom leaving. Yeah, his mom leaving. All that didn't fucking happen. All all this shit. No, don't focus on that. Focus on uh mirror mirror on the wall. What, 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 <laughs> yeah. What, I remember it as mere. Oh, Luke, I'm your father. Who gives a fuck? Luke, <laughs> Luke, you, Luke, you, you can suck my dick. All right, it doesn't fucking matter if he says Luke, you're my father, or no, no, I am your father, or some shit. Who gives a fuck? What does it matter? What does it affect anybody? All right, you guys, that is my video for today. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you want me to keep making conspiracy theory videos, please give me a thumbs up. So go I fuck yourself. Please give uh, this idiot uh, a thumbs down. Um, no, we're not. We're not allowed to say that because of the TOS. We we could get. God for damn it! Okay, I, I'm, I'm saying that figuratively. Thumbs, yeah. Okay, all right. Don't actually give this guy a thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs him up. Reward him. Yeah, for his, you should definitely for his, reward him for his imbecilic content. They need. You just. I give it a thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs don't thumbs up. it down. Do not thumbs it down. Nope. Nope. Give it a thumbs up. Thumbs Fuck you, up. Shane Dawson. You're so full of shit. All of his fans are imbecilic is... retards if you believe this shit. If you don't believe this shit, then congratulations. You're normal. Normalcy. Normalcy. Good job. Good job. Okay. So, so just... that's about all yeah. for our show. Uh, go fuck yourselves. You Where are the brunch? piles of shit.